Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have another Old Palettes New Looks. This is the second video that I've done in this series. The first one was Valentine's Day, so I'll leave that linked in the description box below where I did three kind of pink or just like sultry fun looks inspired by Valentine's Day. For this episode, I wanted to do some St. Patrick's Day inspired looks because I've had a few requests to do something green in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So the three older palettes that I wanted to throw it back to are going to be the Born to Run palette. This is the first look you will see. I stuck with something actually a little more neutral and just gold for this look for those of you who want to do something a little bit less colorful for St. Patrick's Day. For a look number two, I was reaching into the Viper palette from Sigma. I did a really fun green inner corner with this palette. And the third look that you will see is the look I'm wearing right now. And I did the most dramatic look in this video using the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. So as I mentioned, these are all kind of inspired by St. Patrick's Day because I've had some requests for that. But even if you're not doing anything for St. Patrick's Day or it's not something that you tend to celebrate, I still think these are fun ways to incorporate green into your eye look. And fun fact, I'm a quarter Irish, so I do always get very excited for St. Patrick's Day. And green is my favorite color, so this video was all kinds of fun for me. So let's go ahead and hop into the first look. All right, so for this first look, I wanted to do something with Born to Run because I've had so many requests to do a video featuring this palette. And I think for this look, I wanna do something gold because the other two looks that you're gonna see in this video focus on green. And I wanted to share like an alternative for those of you who wanna do something festive but are maybe intimidated to wear green. And I feel like when I think of St. Patrick's Day, I think of three colors. I think of green, orange and gold and gold is like the least intimidating to wear out of all three so that's what i'm going to do kind of focusing on this shade stranded all right so to start building up the crease i'm going to combine the shades weekender and riff and just kind of dip into both of them if you are quite a bit darker than i am you could probably just go right in with riff but i kind of want to tone it down just a little bit so it's a little bit softer and then I'm taking this on a big fluffy blending brush. This is a Sigma E40 and just starting to spread it out everywhere from the crease and pretty far up. You can get a little messy with this. Now switching to an E25, I'm taking just Riff and I'm gonna start buffing this into the crease. And I'm not gonna take this as high up. I'm gonna keep it just in the crease. So my cat just opened up my closet if it looks different back there. But now I'm gonna start adding some depth. So I'm gonna take the shade Punk, which is the dark brown, and I'm just gonna start tapping this over the outer corner. And I'm mostly keeping this on the lid, but I am gonna bring a little bit up into the crease. But I'm not moving the brush too much. I'm really keeping it in this designated area because this color is so dark. If I start using really big motions, it's going to spread the color out too much. I would like to keep the darkness a little bit more concentrated. So as you can see, it got a little messy and patchy out here. So I'm gonna go back with Riff and start blending it back out. And because I want this line to diffuse nicely, I'm gonna go back to Weekender, which is the cream shade and use an E40 and just dust this in between. This is gonna help diffuse everything and give us that nice ombre between shades. So now the star of the show is definitely gonna be the gold. So I'm gonna take Stranded, or no, it's the shade Stranded on an AOA E123 and wet my brush. And this is gonna be focused on the inner two thirds of the lid. So to get to the level of shine and pigmentation that I'm looking for, I'm definitely gonna have to layer this a little bit and build it up. So don't be afraid to take some time and sit here if you want it to be very gold. And I'm also taking it, and I'm also taking the gold in just a little bit so that it's not just on the crease, but just this whole inner area, or not the crease. It's not just below the crease. Like there's a little bit above the crease. I just want a ton of gold. Okay, now I'm really trying to decide if I want to pair this with a little bit of gold glitter. I've grabbed the shade Sunray from Pixie and Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of Midnight Cowboy because this is a liner, so I can kind of work it around and not apply as much as if I did just the full glitter. But this is obviously optional. If you have a loose gold glitter or any gold glitter, this would be a fun time to add it just to give it 
some extra sparkle. And then, so it's all blended out, I'm gonna just pat over it with my finger so that it's moved around a little bit. So the eye look is pretty much done. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some mascara and a lip and I will be right back. All right, so this is mostly the completed look. I ended up adding the shade Anti Venom from Sigma to my lips with just like a nude lip liner. And I think I want to do a little something to the lower lash line. I thought about just leaving it bare and keeping all the attention up top, but I kind of want to leave it a little smoky. So I'm going to take an AOAE 115. This is just a flat brush for smoking color out. And going back to Riff, which was that medium brown, I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. And then just to make it even smokier, I'm taking Riff again, but now on an E25 and smoking it out so that it's just a little messy. So this is the final look. I feel like this is perfect to wear for anything. Obviously I created it with St. Patrick's Day in mind and I think it would pair nicely with like a green top or just something green somewhere else in your wardrobe. Or if you're feeling very bold, maybe a green lip. But I think you could wear this anytime. I think that without the glitter, it's a little bit more daytime, but if you want to spice it up for going out or something, adding the glitter on top gives it that extra pop. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first look using the Born to Run palette, but now I want to hop into look number two. All right, so for this look, I wanted to use one of my favorite palettes from last winter. This is the Viper palette from Sigma. At the time that I'm filming this, it's in my Shop My Stash, and my vision for this look is something that's very, very simple on the eye, maybe a little bit of winged liner, just probably just this brown in the crease, but to make it pop and keep within the St. Patrick's theme, I wanna do the green on my inner corner. So I'm gonna start with Hypnotize in my crease, and this color is extremely light, so it's not going to make a world of difference. I would say if your skin tone is any darker than mine, you can probably skip this and go right in with the next brown. But I feel like, for me, it does just a little bit, because if I go in right away with that brown, it's gonna be a little bit trickier for me to blend in. But now I am gonna go ahead and take Adder, and I'm using it on the same brush. This is a Sigma E40 and I'm gonna tap off most of it and just kind of use um, like circular motions to start buffing this into the crease. So now I'm going to switch brushes to something a little bit smaller. This is the Sigma E25 and I'm dipping into the same color, but because this brush is a little bit smaller and a little bit more dense, it's going to allow the shadow to apply a little bit more opaque. All right, so for the fun part, I'm going to take that pop of green and I'm going to start packing this on the inner corner and I'm going to use very light motions. I don't want this to build up and be like too, too bold because it is on the inner corner. So here is what it looks like with just that, but I'm going to actually take the transformer shade, not a lot, but I'm just gonna pick up a little on my finger and then pat it over. I'm not gonna really rub because that'll allow like too much pigment to come through. I'm just gonna pat just so I can get a tiny bit of that color. So now I'm gonna do a winged liner. I'm just gonna use my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner with the E06. It's very unintentional that I happen to be using all Sigma products for this look. Um, it's not sponsored obviously, but ironically I'm using all Sigma. Now I'm gonna go ahead, add some mascara and a lip, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So for my lip combo, I'm gonna be honest, I can't decide if I like it or not. I almost feel like it's a little bit too warm for this eye because just on the lid, the eye is very cool and then it has a green in there. So I might change it, I haven't decided yet. But anyways, the lip combo that I wore, I put on the lip liner from Koki in the shade Warm Nude and then Hidden Hills Hottie from NCLA, and then I wanted a gloss, so I topped it with Fuel from Urban Decay. This is the look using the Sigma Viper palette. I feel like this is a nice option for St. Patrick's Day if you want to incorporate green somewhere into your look, but you're a little bit intimidated to wear it on the lid and go full-blown green. Also, if the inner corner is still a little bit too much for you or 
you don't feel comfortable wearing green there, you could do the same eye look, but instead of putting this on the inner corner, wear it on the lower lash line and that would be beautiful as well. But now let's go ahead and hop into something a little bit more bold. All right, so for this final look, I'm super excited to use one of my all-time favorite palettes, the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I've been wanting to do something with Molly, which is the really bold green in here. So my vision for this look is something very green and very orange. So I'm really gonna focus in those two colors, but I'm gonna start it off with Burkina and I'm just gonna work this through the crease. I'm not picking up a lot because I want this to be very soft so I can diffuse it. And as you can see, this is the only look out of the three where I'm doing my eyes first. You could do your face first, but I have a feeling I might get some fallout with this, so I thought it would just be easier to do the eyes first. So I just got back from running some errands, and I was wearing the same outfit while I was out and about, and I got home and I looked in the mirror and realized I had a big old chocolate stain on my sweater. You might be able to see it still right here. I tried to wash it off, but I'm like, nice Kelly. I, don't e I didn't even have chocolate today, I don't think, so I don't know what happened there. So now I'm gonna be taking the orange, which is Cairo, and be sure to tap it off because it's a matte with glitter in it. So if you don't tap it off, you'll get a little bit of glitter on the eyes, which I don't mind a little bit, but I wanna try and tap off the majority of it. And I'm gonna focus this a lot closer to the crease. By the way, Cass has a little chew right now, so if you can hear like crunching sounds, that's him. So it looks a little bit messy right now, but that's totally fine. Now I'm gonna take Ada and start packing this on my outer corner. You know, the only thing that I wish this palette had in it was an even darker color, like an even darker brown than some of these or even a black, just because I don't feel like my outer corner is quite as dark as I want it to be. I think I'll mix in a little bit of this brown. Now for the fun part, we're going to cut the crease. So I'm gonna take my AOA E123 brush and some Born This Way, and I'm gonna start carving this out. Now, this is optional. You could do this same look and just apply the shadow right onto the skin without first placing the concealer down, and you'll get a similar effect. Just putting the concealer down first is going to make everything a little bit sharper. So just like you saw in the first clip, Tilly is getting in the closet again, as always. She loves to do this while I'm filming. Doesn't normally try to climb into the closet, but just when I'm filming. But I finished the cut creases. They're a little bit uneven, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect. So I'm going to take Molly, which is the green, and wet my brush and place that. Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. Um, place that anywhere that I put down concealer. So now that I've placed the green down, I'm going back in with a little bit more of Cairo, which is the orange, and just patting this on the outer corner to get everything to blend. And then I'm taking a little bit of the other two browns that we used. And honestly, if I wasn't trying to do this look exclusively with this palette, I'd probably reach into another palette just to get a slightly darker brown. But I'm gonna make this work. All right, so this is mostly done. I'm just gonna do something on the inner corner and the lower lash line, but before I do that, I'm gonna finish up my face and be right back. So here's the face. I tried to keep everything very like peachy and orange themed just to kind of play off all the orange on my eyes. So for my blush, I used I Will Always Love You from Too Faced. For my highlight, I used my Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I just used the like peachy shade called Moonstone. And my lip combo is the Nude Lip Liner from NYX and then the shade of Peachy from Persona, which is one of the new glosses. So to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of Giza on my inner corner. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of the gold as well and kind of mix the two because I feel like if I just use Giza, it's a little bit too white. I want kind of some warmth in here to match up with the rest of the eye and the face. Now this is definitely optional, but if you want to take this green to the next level, I'm going to take a green liner. This is Teaspoon from ColourPop, and I'm going to line my waterline. Now going back with a tiny bit of Ada, I'm just going to focus this under the lower lash line on the outer third. 
Now, I spent a lot of time trying to debate whether or not I wanted to put on some false lashes, and I definitely think that they would take this look to the next level, but I don't tend to wear a lot of falsies, and I figured, you know what, I kind of like this look as it is. It's a little bit less intense without the falsies, but it's, of course, an option if you want to use them. But I think this is going to be the final look for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you inspiration to pull out these three palettes if you own any of them and you haven't used them in a while. Or maybe it just kind of gave you some makeup inspiration for St. Patrick's Day. But thank you guys so much for watching. The next video you will see in this series is going to be like spring appropriate looks, kind of Easter inspired, but basically just looks you can wear throughout spring. So stay tuned for that. It will be up in the next month. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.